So in this episode, we are going to learn about the computed property, washed property and methods. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and welcome back to Bitfumes. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So this is the second episode. So I will create a new folder so that everyone get the source code easily. So I will create index.html but all these inside episode 2 or I will say hash 2 only so hash 2 inside hash 2 I will say index.html file so this is the index.html file and move this file into new folder so rename it and this will be hash 1 and that's nice so let's copy everything from here from HTML1 and here is 2 and now for this episode I will delete each and everything from here and also from here just the connection between view and our app okay so let's start this and we have let's define this thing so firstly define the element we are going to connect our app so it will be hash app then let's define our data having message message is this is bit fumes okay so now let's echo out this bit fumes so i will say message and let's open this file inside browser and open in browser chrome okay so we can see we have this thing here and let's open console so we are not having any kind of error that's nice so let's suppose i want to do something here with this message data we have so in the documentation it's very easy written which is like dot split and with split then after reverse it reverse then after join it so join so let's see how it look like so yes it's look like nice but let's move it inside h1 text so that everyone can see it easily so this is reversed but let's suppose you have same thing many times so four times so is that true we have to use these things four times no not at all because we are on the view and these things we have to ignore so just copy it from here go here and create a method so i will firstly create a method so method name is let's say reverse and then function then it will return the same thing so instead of all these things i will just say reverse but because this is a method we have to define these parentheses also so let's go to browser and refresh the page and we can see it says message not defined why is that because it has to be this before the message because we have to tell the view that this message is came from this data so this dot message dot the whole thing so let's go and refresh again and we can see we have these things so it's okay but let's again see one more thing called computed properties so i will say computed and for now let's just cut it from here paste it here and because this is not a function it's a computed property so we have to remove these parenthesis so what I have done I have selected it and then control D D and control D delete save go here refresh the page and yes we have no error the same thing but now what is the difference between methods and computer properties so it's just like method is simple method which can be called and which can be designed for any kind of function similarly Computed properties are also having also can be defined but only defined one time until and unless there is no change in this message. 
okay so let's again define this here also and let's call it reverse m for method and call it reverse c for computer properties and now here for the first one i will give message m and for the second one i will give computer property only and delete these things but instead of deleting what i will do let's do here m here also m and now what i will do just comment this out so that you can get these things on the source code and now i will say reverse m having function of returning date dot now and same thing for this computed property so this thing so instead of m i will say c let's go here refresh the page and you can see the same thing but this is not exactly same the first one having four at the last but the last and the second last one having five at the last because first third and fourth are method so method is called every time it has to called so we have used three times the method one th two and three so it when it is called first time it has four at the last on the timing but when it is called third and fourth time it is not having four time is increased but now if we use this computer property many times so let's define this thing here and here and here now go and refresh the page and you can see every time the computer property is used is having the same value so let's do one thing for the method I will say method so that we can see it's all methods here and here I will say computed simple so now go here refresh the page and you can see the method having different values every time but computed properties no matter how many times you call it it has same values so let's call it many other times and you can see every time every time it is same okay so these is these are the difference between computed properties and methods so if you have a loop where you are looping and running for let's say 100 times so then it's not good that you are calling that function having 100 loops every time you call the function so if you are calling function or the method you have created for three times and every time it has to loop for 100 values so you are having 300 loops but if you have computed property then you have doesn't matter how many times you have called it if you call it 10 times only 100 loops are there on your functions so this is the power of computed property let's talk about watch so what is watch so again I will delete these things and here uh, let's define something here so i will define kilometer as zero and meter as again zero and what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a very simple thing kilometer to meter conversion so here i am and i will create input box which having v model which connected to kilometer and again one which is connected to meter so let's go here and now define watch so for that simple thing not semicolon it's colon okay so now i will do one thing so let's see what we are getting so we are getting these two text boxes so when i type one here I want 1000 here because one kilometer has 1000 meter so let's go here and type kilometer which is just a function which having value and now I will say this dot kilometer is equal to same value but this dot meter having value multiplied by 1000 
Similarly, if I type here m meter, so function which having this dot kilometer is equal to well divided by 1000 and this dot meter is equal to same value. So let's go and refresh the page. So when I type 1 here, I'm getting 1000 here. But when I type 1 here, uh, there is some kind of problem. So you, we can see we have this error here. Watcher M reference error val is not defined because I have not defined here val. Just define val here. Save changes. Refresh the page. When I type 2, it is 2000 here. But when I type 2 here, it's 0 0.002 here. So this is the simple thing and you can see every time we change some data here, it's watching for that change and do according to that thing. Okay, so next thing is the computed property getter and setter. So what are these getter and setters? So let's go back here and now for these things, I will again comment this out so that you can use it. And here I will create, uh, let's say one input box having V model of, let's say full name. Okay, V model of full name. And so I have defined this full name here. So full name. So let's do one thing. Instead of full name, I will define first name. First name is Sarthar and obviously this will inside quotes and the last name which is Srivastava okay so again inside quotes so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a getter so it's a getter so get which having a function and now it will return this dot first name then plus space plus this dot last name and it's done but this get will be inside full name function so it's just simple thing we have to wrap these thing inside full name so now full name having a get function which is getting these things so returning first name plus last name so let's go here on the chrome refresh the page and uh, we can see anything so there's error on line 44 so it says 44 because i have not used comma here so comma refresh the page and now you can see sarthak shvastu is given here let's again do one thing so i will go here and i will say not here here i will say h3 and here i will echo out let's say first name okay so now go here again so we can see we have the sarthak shwasto here and sarthak here so when i change sarthak there is no change here so how we bind these two things because this data is coming from full name getter so and but this name is directly from the data so let's do one thing let's create a setter so setter and setter will be again defined simply like we are defining everywhere everything so it will return but before returning we will say let's it's getting the name and var name is equal to uh, what we can do we can say name dot split with space so it's splitting with space now what i will do i will say this dot first name is equal to name first element and similarly for the last name 
so last name will be the second element so go here refresh the page so we are we can see we have the same thing here but when I change this K delete the K it's now changed here and similarly same thing and now uh, if I create another h3 tag which has last name so when I change the last name it's now changing the last name only but when I change the first name it's only change the first name so we have connected these two things via getter and setter so let's do one thing more so I will say name dot length minus one so whatever it is name dot length minus one so go here again refresh the page delete this it's working fine delete this it's working fine again so these are the things it's very 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 extremely important things the computer properties methods watched properties so i think you are getting view very quickly and if you having any kind of problem in anywhere please feel free to comment me and you can find the various kind of series running on this bitfilms channel on the description below so you can subscribe this channel because we have lots of data coming soon and many projects related to laravel and the view and other things are coming very soon so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram because i will post many things on the facebook which i can share on youtube so that's important thing you can like bitfilm so that you can get the notification about each and every events happening on the bitfilm so we will meet in the next episode with again some awesome thing about the view and don't forget to subscribe so goodbye